I got news for you. You suck. But that's fine. That's part of the process. Actually, you are supposed to be bad. Maybe you're facing the three major obstacles that are preventing you from starting your creative project or any kind of project. So in this video, I will help you to identify what are those obstacles and how to get rid of them. Follow me. Right now I'm recording what it will be the video number 10 on my YouTube channel. And I know 10 videos is nothing to be proud of. It is actually nothing when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to having a YouTube channel. 10 videos is like a misery. When you add the fact that these are 10 poorly made videos that looks like I just press the record button and started talking. However, this is a much longer journey. A project that started a year ago in September 2022, when I decided that I wanted to start a YouTube channel and share my experiences and share what I've, what has been my passion for my entire life. Talking about creativity and culture and education and identity, psychology, Things that I've, I've been passionate about for literally my entire life. At the beginning, the first few months, it was all about learning. Learning how, how to do this. Learning how to record the videos. How to set up the lights and the audio. And how to set up the environment. How to write a script. Uh, how to understand the algorithm. Uh, so many things, even breathing techniques, how to speak in front of a camera, which is very intimidating for most people. This is not an easy thing to do. And it doesn't matter how much you practice and how, how much you learn, you will never get it right until you start doing it. And this is the whole point of these videos. You will notice that uh, in none of the videos I ask you to subscribe or to like, because although I'm trying to do my best and offering the best content possible, these are my process. These videos are for me, for me to practice, for me to get over the fear of being in front of a camera, speaking in front of a camera, get over the fear of my look or how awkward my voice sounds to me. Nobody likes the... the sound of their own voice. That's a fact. And we are also conscious of how we look, especially at the beginning, how we look, how we sound, how we interact with, with the camera. Feeling that you are talking to yourself. These are all very difficult things to overcome, to, to get through. So it's been a year of mostly planning but most importantly, trying to get over that fear, those obstacles. And those obstacles are the ones that I want to talk about today. And I, and I want to help you identify because I'm sure that you're facing the same kind of obstacles that I've been facing since I started doing this or since I decided to, to do this channel. And pretty much everything that is being new in my life and in my career. So there are three groups of obstacles that I think are the most important and the ones that are preventing you from initiating your, your process, initiating your, your projects, your creative projects. The easiest one is what I call the technical obstacles, which is basically getting the knowledge. Every time you try to do something new and you don't know how to do it, you need to get the skills, you need to get the knowledge, you need to study. There is a, a learning curve that you have to go through 
in order to start getting to the point where you want to be, where you want to be good, where you want to be effective, or at least to the point where you don't feel intimidated, to the point where you don't feel, you don't suffer of that uh, imposter syndrome, which is very common. So the technical, the technical obstacles, the learning. If you have access to the internet, and of course you do because you're watching this, that you have access to the entire world of knowledge. The difficulty is to choose the best sources, to have the criteria to choose from where and from who you want to learn. That is very important. But that is one of the easiest obstacles to overcome. The technical obstacles, the obstacle of learning, acquiring the skills. Now the next set of obstacles that I want to talk about is what I call the physical obstacles. And these are the ones related to your geographical location, your financial situation, and whether or not you have some sort of a physical limitation, uh, some impediment with your body that is preventing you from doing things in a conventional way. Now, these obstacles are out of our hand. It's not easy for a lot of people to relocate, to move to a new location. A lot of people probably don't have the money they think they need to initiate the project. And if you have one physical limitation, well, there is not much you can do about that. However, there are ways to overcome these obstacles. If you have a good idea and you're able to put a plan that you can sell as a business plan to somebody who can maybe support you financially, or you can always crowdfund. There are a lot of websites that allow you to crowdfund your, your projects. And there is a lot of people willing to support good projects. So that is a way to overcome that financial situation. If you are in a location where probably you don't have access to a lot of resources, well, that is also difficult to overcome. But there are always ways, again, if you are connected to the internet, you are somehow connected to the world and even in a limited way you have access to different resources that maybe are more difficult for you. For example, there is a, a very popular YouTube channel from a girl who lives, he used, she used to live in, in Cuba. Now if you, if you know what is the situation in Cuba, you will know, you will understand that people in Cuba, they they have a lot of problems to access resources. However, she was capable of, just with her mobile phone, she was capable of starting the channel. And in a very short period of time, she was able to grow a big, big following. So much, in fact, that she was able to leave the country. In a country where the access to the internet is, is limited, the access to resources is limited. The access to, in many cases, the access to food is difficult. And she was able to not only start the channel, but become, become successful with it. In terms of physical limitations with your body, there are always ways. Now, there are ways that you can even access your computer by voice. We have the example of Stephen Hawking. He could barely move, and all he needed was his mind. So I, I hope that you who are listening there, watching this, you don't have that level of limitation like Stephen Hawking had. But that is the best example of a body who could barely move except for his eyes, and he had so much influence in the world. 
So it's not an excuse to stop you from doing whatever it is that you want to do. Now, the next set of obstacles that I want to talk about is what I call the psychological obstacles. And those are the those obstacles that I was talking about, those issues that I was talking about at the beginning, is overcoming your fears, overcoming your feeling of uh, self-consciousness and your, the fear of the ridicule and the imposter syndrome. It might not look like, but these are the most crippling and the most difficult obstacles to overcome. Because fear can literally freeze you from acting, from thinking. Planning too much, overthinking, can stop you in your track. And you can, you can get stuck in a loop of thinking, planning, preparing. Thinking, planning, preparing. And never starting the, the, the project, the actual project. And that was the reason why it took me so long to start doing this. You suck, you're gonna suck, and that's fine. That is part of the process and you cannot, you cannot avoid the process. So learn to identify your obstacles. Learn to overcome those obstacles. That is part of the process. That is part of the challenge. Learn to identify those obstacles. Learn from your failures and get excited about the challenge of learning how to overcome those obstacles. And by the way, if you feel you <laughs> for the first time, if you feel you're getting something out of these videos that I'm producing, these videos that are poorly made, if you want to call them that way, I, I promise you, I'm putting a lot of efforts on these videos. But if you feel you're getting something out of this, just support, subscribe, like it, and comment. I'm, I'm looking forward to hear from you, to hear from your comments. I can't wait to interact with you. So just say hello. I promise to say hello back. Thank you. <laughs>